Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack here. I'm going to take you through today how to find products to sell on Amazon here in Australia in under 10 minutes. I'm going to show you two methods on how to find these products. I'm going to show you exactly how I would do it, my whole thought process behind it. So we're going to jump into my computer. I'm going to show you those two methods right now. So here's the two ways. Now, for this, I would highly recommend you to have a piece of software that can help you read the sales numbers. Because a lot of the time I get asked the question, hey Jack, uh, do I need you know software like Helium 10? Do I need software like Jungle Scout? Now, I would personally suggest yes, because while you can see the products without that, you need to know the sales numbers, right? So I would highly suggest getting Helium 10 if you're selling on the Aussie market, because unfortunately Jungle Scout doesn't work for the Aussie market. Helium 10 does, it works for the Aussie market, US market, and basically every other market. And uh, it is extremely accurate. Right, I haven't seen anything as accurate for the Aussie market as Helium 10. That's why we use it. That's why uh, students in FBA Accelerator use it. That's why all my clients use it, right? So first way to actually find these products is we're going to head to Amazon Movers and Shakers. Okay, we're going to click this here. Now, what this shows you is all of the most popular products, the products that have sold the most in all these categories in the last 24 hours. Now, this is more so to help you get an idea of what's selling. These are basically the ones that have moved up the highest in their sales rank in the last 24 hours. So that means that they're doing a higher volume of sales. Okay, so this is to give you an idea of where to look or at least an idea of what products to look for. Sometimes you will find good products here, but this is more so to get the ideas rolling. Now, in terms of the categories to look at, I will name a few once we head to Helium 10 because we're going to do our other research method there and I'll actually show you what categories I would recommend you to look for, especially as a beginner. But I just want to get an idea of, okay, what's selling well at the moment? I like home as a as a category, right? So maybe we can have a look at this. Let's have a look at this two-pack bedsheet organizer, okay? So we'll have a look at this. The thing I like about this is that, okay, well, they seem to be relatively new because they only have seven reviews, which is great. Uh, their listing is okay. They don't have high quality. It just looks like the basic, like, kind of supply style images. But let's have a look. If we wanted to see how much this seller was doing, right, they're selling this at $45.99. We'll bring up the uh, Helium 10 Chrome extension and we'll click X-Ray. This is why I think it's so important. And if you do want a discounted version of Helium 10, right, I do have a link down below. Fully transparent. It's an affiliate link. Just because I've been with Helium 10 for so long, right, they've given me an affiliate link to use, which, uh, again, in turn gives you a uh, a big discount right on uh, on their thing and on their software and you can you can use that just month to month basis there's no lock ins on that either but let's have a look at how much they're selling so too low revenue in my opinion okay it's not worth it uh, 18 sales so that's okay we'll go back and this is the process that we want to go through so again we'll have a look at okay maybe we'll have a look at the makeup mirror and we'll see what this is doing okay so sometimes so this is 300 plus bought per month. There's only 115 reviews, not the best uh, rating, but it's still high enough in my opinion. So this is more promising. We're more than likely going to see higher sales here. So let's have a look and see what we've come up with. Yeah, so we've got 2,295 in revenue. So they're selling 56 of these per month, right? So the process that I'm looking at, this is what I'm looking at here when I first see this. I'm looking at, okay, is this a product that we can potentially sell? Right. If so, what what are the metrics that I look at? So I look at the amount of reviews. I look at obviously if they've got this here, that's important. These are Amaz this is Amazon's choice. Another thing that you can look at as well uh, are things like the the search volume. Right. So maybe we can see all the keywords if there is enough data to bring up. We can have a look at the keywords and see how much these people uh, you know how how basically how often these people are searching for this thing. So mirror. 3,300. Hollywood Mirror, 3,100. So anything that's around two to 3,000 is a really good sign. So I really like this. Vanity Mirror, Makeup Vanity, Vanity, right? These are all, all around, even Makeup Mirror is um, pretty good, right? So I like the search volume, and search volume means that there's enough people searching, there's enough demand on it for Amazon, because if you see someone selling high amounts on Amazon, but you look at the main keywords and there's no search volume, means they're getting their traffic from somewhere else, which is not a good idea. It's not a good idea to go for for you because this these sellers, if there's no search volume, it means these sellers are getting their sales from somewhere else. So I hope that makes sense, but I like this. So what I would do from here is I would have a look. I would type in makeup mirror 
in here and have a look at the other competitors, right? And see, sort of see what we're looking at. So we'll actually do that now. We might as well, why not? So we wanna to go to all departments and we want to have a look at one of the main, it could either be vanity mirror, so, or makeup mirror. We'll just do makeup mirror because that looks like one of the most, or biggest, I guess, uh, most main keywords is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so this actually comes up on the bestseller. So let's have a look at these competitors. And again, this is all coming up. All of these numbers are coming up because I have the Helium 10 Chrome extension installed, right? If you want these sales numbers to come up and give you all this data, then I would suggest getting Helium 10. So again, we'll bring up this X-Ray and it's just gonna fetch the product data. And then what I wanna do from here is actually uh, filter from highest to least of the uh, of the a number of sales. Now, just if you didn't know, these here are per month. So this is what they're selling per month. They're selling this amount of units per month, this revenue per month. Now, what we wanna do from here is get rid of this SP, which means sponsored listing, because we don't want people who are paying to be on these pages to be here. We wanna look at the people who are here organically. So any of those you see, you just wanna delete, just remove that. There we go. And then we want to look at, sorry for moving my head around, I want, to, want you guys to see as much as possible here. So we want to look at, okay, what kinds of mirrors are they selling? Right, these, looks like, these look like the smaller mirrors. Now, if you want to bring these up on a separate page like this, you could just right click, go open new tab. So maybe we don't want to sell something like this because it's too low of a price in my opinion and they have a bunch of ratings. We want to have a look at these ones here. If we cancel out of this, we want to look at more of these, so maybe vanity mirrors. If we go to vanity mirror, because we want the bigger one, because that's the one that we were looking at before. Okay, so again, we can pull this up, go to X-ray, and this looks more along the lines of what we're looking for, those bigger sort of vanity mirrors with the lights on the outside. Again, get rid of these sponsored listings, we don't want these, delete that, remove. And it's really helpful to have this here, this Helium 10, because it's just so easy to pull up, right? You can just check these numbers all day long. So again, we've got, uh, we have a new one here, which is elegant. I don't think this is the same, uh, this is the same listing as before. So they have 18 ratings. Okay, let's look at this. $119, now this is either just the price that they're at or they've upped the price because they're low on stock. A lot of sellers do that, right? 18 reviews, which is great. So let's have a look at this. We'll pull up the data. Now, I know we saw it before, but I wanna pull it up on this page. They're doing 13,000 per month, right? So 57 sales. Okay, this looks like a they have uh, two different variations, right? Because we can tell by the different uh, ASINs here. Two different variations. This is a three color one. Obviously, it might either be bigger or have more functions. But this one here is what we're looking at, actually. So they're doing 6.7K, which is great, 119. They're doing 56 sales per month. Now, what we can actually do here is click this graph. And let's go to, okay, let's see how long they were selling. We'll go to all time. They're selling from 2022, okay? Now they started at basically, they're doing one sale, two sales, right? Now they've grown their momentum and this is where it comes into, you need to take action with Amazon because it's like these sellers, they, you know, they're taking up this space. They're, they're basically taking their piece of the pie because they've been, they've been here longer, right? So the longer you wait, the longer these competitors have to establish themselves. So over these, over this last year or two, look at them slowly grow. Okay, so now they're up at, this is obviously in December, so they're up at five sales a day, uh, six, seven sales a day, right? But even now, they're up at four sales a day, right? And that's 400, basically like over 450 revenue because they've got a $120 product per day, okay? And I know that they're not buying them for $120. They've got some good profit on that, right? So... Usual profit, again, you're looking at 30 to 40%, okay, for a usual seller, depends on your supplier, depends on the on the product itself, right? But you're looking at their momentum and it's like, that's crazy that they only have 18 reviews and they're able to pull this out. So that to me is like, okay, you might be able to compete with something like this, right? Depends on, depends on the style, depends on, you know, if you can improve on this product, right? So that's one way to do it is go through the movers and shakers. We found this product just by going through that just by going through that same system. Now, let's have a look at a little bit more in-depth way. And this is by using something called Black Box. Let me just move these headphones here. This is Black Box uh, in the Helium 10 dashboard, right? So these are in their actual tools and I want to show you uh, how I would use this because this is more in-depth. It gives you a lot more control over 
uh, how to use this. So, well, how, how to, it gives you a lot more control over the numbers. So first, what we want to do is we want to go through to amazon.com.au and we want to choose the categories. Now, again, I said, I will show you the categories that uh, I will most likely suggest you to sell in. And I'll tell you why, because a lot of these categories, they are either restricted or gated. And as a new seller, you can't actually sell them or you need approval to sell in them. The easiest way is just to sell in categories that you don't really need any approval for, right? So these are usually baby, beauty, sometimes beauty, you might need some uh, some approval for, or uh, you might need some extra documentation. It's usually pretty easy, right? Uh, electronics, I used to be against electronics, but they're actually pretty good to sell in, right? Especially uh, for beginners as well. Uh, home, home improvement, you can do health, household, personal care. We might just leave it for now. Kitchen and dining is a good one as well. Sometimes lighting, but we'll leave it out. Pet supplies is a good one and sports, fitness and outdoors. So we're going to choose those. Now review count, let's do a maximum of say 300, right? Or maybe even 200, okay? We we want a maximum of 200 reviews because we don't want to compete with sellers that are doing thousands and thousands of reviews. Just because if you're competing with established sellers, even if they're not huge like retail brands, it's going to be too hard for you as a new seller to compete with. We want someone that's a bit lower on the scale, right? So again, uh, we're going to leave this stuff for now. Uh, keywords we're going to leave for now. Now, what we really want to have a look at is this over here. Number of sellers we can leave, this stuff we can leave. We want to look at the price. So I personally like anywhere from $25 to say $75 as a good price point because you're looking at something that doesn't need too much thinking into. It's almost like a quick buy. You don't want to have something, even though that vanity mirror might even be considered a quick buy. You don't want something where they might have to talk with someone else. They might have a bit more thinking to do. $25 to $75 is where someone can usually look at Amazon and go, okay, cool, click, buy. And that for you as a new seller is great, right? Monthly revenue. Now you can change this around. I like maybe anywhere. You can you can change this around depending on what comes up when we search for this. But maybe $2,500 to say maybe even, I don't know, $6,500 or we'll do $7,000, right? Now it might be tempting to go, well, why don't we just look for products that are ten to 20000 Why don't we do 50000 Hey, why not 100000 right? Why don't we just sell 100000 The thing is, is that as a new seller, it's going to be hard for you to compete with someone doing 30K, 50K a month, even 20K a month. Because when you think about it, how many units do these sellers need? How many are they pushing per month to get to those sales numbers? Do you have the, do you have the money to invest? Do you have the 10, 20 grand to invest to compete with that? No, more than likely not. If you're looking at doing 1500 bucks for your investment, three grand for your investment, four grand for your investment, depending on what you want, right? It's going to de be dependent on how many units you can get in of that certain product. So for this mirror, for instance, right, let's have a look at this. How many were they selling per month? Okay, they were selling, we bring up the data here, I think they were selling about, okay, so this is the wrong one. Let's go to this one, there we go. They were selling 56 units per month. So let's just say, let's just say they could get these for $50 each. Let's do a bit of quick math here. Maybe it's going to be more. Let's just say 60 units, right? They're selling and they they are able to purchase these for $60 each. 60 times 60, bang, 3,600. That is for your first order. Now, I would suggest for you to have two months worth of stock. So let's times that by two. Okay, do you have that amount to invest to compete with the seller? That's what you need to look at. Now, obviously, it depends on on uh, your budget. It depends on what product you're looking at. But these are the metrics that you need to understand, right? Because they're very important. So, again, we'll have a look at 2500 to 7000 uh, monthly sales units. You could maybe do, it really depends. Sometimes I'll leave this blank. But you could maybe do a minimum of of maybe 50 units per month, 300 per month, depends. And that's pretty much it. That's really all I use. You can go more into depth with this, but I don't really I don't really usually do. So we'll go ahead and hit search and we'll see what comes up, okay? Now, what this does is this shows you all the different products that come up under these parameters that you've chosen, okay? So we've got, and what we're looking for here we want to make sure there's no big brands, so you're not trying to compete. We're not doing wholesale here. If you aren't wholesale, go to another channel. I get so many wholesale questions. I don't do wholesale. I do private label. Okay, so we're looking at not big.
big brands. We're not competing with big brands. And we want to make sure it's a product that is not too big. Usually, maybe as a beginner, maybe like a smaller shoebox size product, right? If possible, you can go a bit bigger. Uh, but look for something a little bit smaller, not, over, not overly, you know, too large. And something that we can look to compete with. Maybe a product that looks like an FBA seller, right? So Avanti, we don't want to compete with them. Let's have a look. Uh, collapsible laundry basket, right? So this is more so along the lines. Okay, how much are they selling for? We look at the price point. $30, that's not too bad. Uh, they have monthly sales, 92. Let's have a look at their, do they have reviews here? Where are the reviews? Am I blind? Reviews here. What we can do anyway is we can open this up in a new tab. 114 ratings. Okay, so it's a collapsible laundry basket, which is a really good idea. So let's have a look at this. 200 plus bought per month, right? How much were they selling? They were selling 2700 per month. So again, what you do from here is we could go to, so if we wanted to do a collapse, a laundry basket or just collapsible laundry basket, or maybe just laundry basket, we can do this and we can type in collapsible laundry basket. Now let's have a look at the search volume. That's not too bad, right? A lot of people say two to 3,000 is what you need to look at, but we're looking at this. Okay, let's have a look at this niche. This is Amazon's uh, choice, which is the one we were looking at. Let's bring up Helium 10, have a look at the numbers again, and let's see our competition. Can we fit in here? This is how we know. Search volume looks pretty good. Let's go to the sales. Okay, sponsored listings, get rid of them. There we go, remove. So they're selling 360 per month. Okay, or oh, this is the wrong, this isn't even the same thing. So we just want to get rid of this. We're not looking at tripods. We're looking at these laundry baskets, okay? $118 for this one. I think that's a higher end one. $20 for this two pack. Uh, we're looking at, uh, where's another one? Laundry basket, two pack hamper basket. Like we're looking at the prices here and we're looking at one similar to ours, okay? Maybe a collapsible laundry basket if there is any. Large collapsible laundry basket, $32. They're only doing 224, right? But let's just go by revenue here. So top revenue is this guy here. If we go to this listing, so this is... A, this is basically probably the most dominant listing, right? $118. You probably won't be able to compete with this. They seem like quite an established brand. I think I've seen this before, actually. But this is just giving you an idea of what comes up, what's in this niche when we're looking at these laundry baskets, okay? Here's another one, $49.99. So this is a collapsible one. Pretty sure by the looks of it. I could be wrong. But they got 1,800 reviews, so again, we probably can't, uh, we probably can't compete with this. This is all I do with product research. Okay, here's another one. They're doing 1,300, right? Let's have a look. Now these guys here, the AC means Amazon's choice, right? These guys probably dominate the market for this particular design, but this is why we're having a look. Okay, move this one over here. 208 reviews. That's not too bad. Okay, so I'm getting an idea. It's like, okay, there's a few sellers that are that are most likely dominating this, uh, this particular collapsible basket, this niche, right? So the feeling I'm getting here, just looking at the numbers, is there's only one seller here, like they're doing big numbers. The rest of it, they've got small pieces of the pie. I would be more inclined to go for something like this if there were multiple sellers, say, doing 5,000. If there were three to five sellers, say, doing 3,000 or 7,000 instead of one taking over this whole entire market, I'd be more inclined to go for it. But this tells me this seller has got the biggest piece of the pie. It might be hard for you to fit in. That's all I'm doing. Again, go to black box and we start looking through these numbers, seeing what fits in. So really what you're looking for here is something with some a niche with lower reviews. And I mean niche by looking at the main keywords. So looking at ones with lower reviews, looking at whether they have good or bad ratings, okay? If you can fit yourself into the market with a better product, looking at the amount of, of units they sell, the revenue, and if you can fit in with your budget, right? And what you're looking to do with this product that you launch, let's just say if you come in and you wanna start looking at this particular listing here and competing with this, then you need to look at how can I fit into the market? Can I bring in a product that's slightly better, maybe different design, right? Don't go and sell the exact same thing. Okay, because it's going to be hard to differentiate yourself. Maybe you can add something. Maybe instead of this, it also comes with a little makeup bag. 
right? A small addition, but you are improving on this product, okay? So that's what I do for product research. They're the two ways that I go about product research, okay? And I really hope this helped because you can find products using these methods in under 10 minutes. I've just taken longer than 10 minutes because I really wanted to go in depth, but this is how, how easy it is. Now, obviously I, I have, I say easy, it, it's daunting in the beginning. I have more of a, a, an eye for products. I've been doing product research for the last like six, seven years. So have an idea of, of more so what's going to work than what's not. But still, I need to look at the sales numbers. That's why I use Helium 10. Okay, if you do have any questions about this, these methods or any questions about Amazon selling in general, leave a comment down below. If you're interested in getting started, with the Amazon business, check out Amazon FBA Accelerator. If you are serious, you wanna spend a bit more, well, I'd say a lot more to work one-to-one -one with me and actually get my help, uh, you know, one-to-one -one with this kind of thing and actually launch your, your FBA business properly, call links down below as well. Apart from that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's gonna be a lot more coming and I uh, hope this helped. Stay safe, I'll see you guys soon.